Episode 406, New Teacher or Protector? The students of Class 6 found it hilarious that Eric was willing to back down so quickly. Alex had properly humiliated him by making him sit in his own glue trap, and now Heidi was making him change his plans. They laughed at Eric raucously. Eric took off his glue-marked trousers and sat down in his boxer shorts. He felt and looked ridiculous. Lance wasn't happy. He had agreed to cancel any other attacks on the new teacher to save Eric from embarrassment. And because he, like many of the other boys in the class, was not willing to contradict Heidi. But the truth was that he wasn't at all sure that it was the best course of action. The new head teacher of Class 6, Mr. Ambrose, had certainly had a big impact on the students. After appearing in the classroom for only five minutes, he had already affected their plans. The other pranks they had planned to use on him were called off. For the first time in a long time, the class did not feel completely united. They each had their own ideas about how to handle the situation and were suspicious of one another. Heidi in particular seemed to have her own plan, having run off after Mr. Ambrose in a hurry. If Class 6 was divided, their head teacher would be able to deal with them all much more easily. It would be more difficult for them to unite and cause the sort of disorder that they had before. Heidi was so popular in the class that it would take everyone a long time to realize that she was the one who had betrayed them. Standing in the office of Oak Ridge High School, Leonard felt very proud of himself. The new teacher only lasted for five minutes in Class 6. I'm afraid he's going to have a lot of trouble with him, he gloated. Well, Class 6 are apparently planning to strike back at him. Then he definitely won't be able to continue working at the school. Didn't he say that if there are any accidents in Class 6 today, he'll leave immediately? Billy said smugly. Several of the teachers were also waiting to see how Alex handled Class 6. Most of them had found him to be very arrogant and wouldn't mind watching him fail. He was only in Class 6 for five minutes when he came out again. How can he show his face in front of the rest of us? Asked one teacher. I think he's just a kid who's only just graduated. Maybe he doesn't have enough experience for Class 6, suggested another. Those students in Class 6 are savages. It's not right to send in a new graduate. It's like sending a lamb to the slaughter, said another. If you ask me, I know he's failed and can't show his face in front of the rest of us. I think he's run away already, said the first man. Alex found the atmosphere outside the classroom at Oak Ridge High School very uncomfortable. It seemed that everyone was watching him and whispering behind his back. But he dismissed the attitudes of the other teachers, thinking, I'm just here to protect Heidi. Nothing else matters. Heidi knew him, but earlier she had sat at the back of the class and stared at him uncomprehendingly. She had made no effort to speak to him, and he found it a little strange. His thoughts were interrupted by a girl's voice calling out. Alex, please wait for me. He turned round to see a girl rushing up to him breathlessly. Alex asked, Heidi, is that you? She replied, Yes, but I didn't expect to see you again, Alex. I didn't know you were a teacher. Heidi really was a beautiful girl. Although she was a high school student, her figure was incredible, even compared to most young women. She had the face of a porcelain doll and a beautiful smile. The boys all adored her. But Alex wasn't paying attention to her looks. He smiled politely and said, I wasn't, but things have changed unexpectedly. When he saw her expression, he realized that she didn't even know that someone was protecting her. 
You stood up twice for me the other day. I'll always be grateful to you. Heidi said with a flirtatious smile. Worryingly, Alex saw the same glint of affection in Heidi's eyes that he saw in Debbie's when she gazed adoringly at him. He deliberately changed the subject by asking, What about your parents? Do you get to visit them often? My father is Dr. Benedict Reels, Heidi frowned. I haven't seen him for a month, and I can't get through to him on the phone. I don't know if he's cross with me about something, or maybe he's working too much. Alex knew that Benedict Reels had been kidnapped. But clearly his daughter didn't know anything about it. He felt very sorry for her. He changed the subject again. You can't call me Alex anymore. I'm your teacher now. What would the other students think? He told her. I see, Mr. Ambrose. But can I call you Alex in private? It'll feel too formal to call you Mr. Ambrose when we know each other so well. Heidi took on a flirtatious tone again. No, I'm your teacher now. Alex didn't even smile. He thought, I have to be careful not to give this child the wrong impression. She mustn't read anything into our relationship. Grumpy, Heidi replied as she pouted her lips. But in a blink of an eye, she burst into laughter. Well, are you single or married? You shouldn't be asking me things like that. If you must know, I'm in a relationship. Alex took the opportunity to make sure that Heidi knew he wasn't available. With that beautiful girl you were with the other day? Heidi asked. She regarded Alex as a friend, so felt confident to ask him personal questions. You should mind your own business, Alex reprimanded her sternly. Then he waved his hand at her and turned to leave. If it wasn't for his responsibility to protect her, he would have avoided her completely. Her behavior was really not appropriate. Sorry, Mr. Ambrose, Heidi said. Why are you so cross? Alex hesitated for a moment, then explained firmly. I have to tell you that you must be with me all the time from now on. We will eat together, live together, and travel together to school. Over the next three months, you mustn't leave my sight at any time. Do you understand? What are you talking about? Why? Heidi was confused. She couldn't understand why he would say something like that. Alex thought for a moment and decided that it was better to explain everything to her. He said, your father asked me to take care of you. Really? I don't believe you. My father has never cared about his family. He's only ever cared about his work. Heidi replied without hesitation. <laughs>